Hi, in this video, I'm going to show how you can manually create a loan amortization schedule. We are going to use a simple numeric example to understand the mechanism of amortized loan. In an amortized loan, you borrow money today and promise to pay off within a specified period and with an equal installment. Generally, this loan is used to buy any real assets such as a home, automobile, furniture, jewelry, and the like. In a real world case, although amortized loan lenders have automatic software that makes your amortization schedule, there is nothing wrong with learning how to create one on your own. By the way, the amortization schedule is a table that shows how you are going to pay off the loan going forward. To create such a schedule, you need to know how much you are borrowing, what is the term, what is the interest rate, and how much equal installment you are going to pay in each period. Here is a simple numeric example. Set up an amortization schedule for a $19,000 loan to be repaid in equal installments at the end of each of the next three years. The interest rate is 8% compounded annually. Let's draw a timeline by converting this problem into a picture. My experience says when you can picture your problem, you are way ahead of solving the problem. As you can see in the timeline, you are borrowing 19,000 today and promise to pay an equal installment over three years. In total, you are going to make three payments. After your third payment, you basically paid the entire loan off. If there was no interest on the loan, the calculation would have been very simple. Just divide 19,000 by 3 to get the installment. However, there is 8% interest on the loan. So each of your payments will consist of interest and some repayment of principal. The installment is the PMT that we have to calculate first. Now, in your financial calculator, enter N equals 3 by pressing 3 first and then press N. Similarly, enter 8 in I over Y. Enter 19,000 as negative in PV. Always remember that PV value is a negative number in a financial calculator. If you forget to put PV as a negative number, the calculator might give you an error message most of the time. FV equals 0, since after the third year you pay off the loan in full. Once you have entered all the values except for PMT, press CPT and then press PMT. So you get PMT equals 7372.64. Let's make an amortization schedule that will show how you are going to pay off the loan over time. To do so, we create five columns, year, beginning balance, payment, interest, repayment of principles, and remaining loan balance. In the first year, your starting loan balance is 19,000 and you make a payment of 7,372.64. In this payment, we paid 1,520 amount of interest and rest of the money to pay off the loan. By the end of first year, I now have 13,000 147.36 amount of loan outstanding, which is going to be the starting balance of the loan for the second year. You do the same calculation for the second year and end up with the loan balance of 6,826.51, which is going to be the beginning balance of the third and final year. In the third year, I make another payment of 7,372.64, of which 546.2 one two is the interest amount and the remaining amount was used to pay off the loan. As you can see, by the end of third year, your loan balance has become zero. In other words, you have paid the entire loan amount off. One advantage of making an amortization schedule is that you can find out what is the total interest you are going to pay for the entire life of the loan. You can also see how much interest you are paying each year. Overall, this schedule shows how you are getting out of the loan gradually. Now, you can make an amortization schedule for more than three years or even for monthly. By the way, for the monthly amortization schedule, you must multiply the year by 12 and divide annual interest by 12. All the other numbers will remain the same. I hope this video helps. 
Thanks for watching.